Hi guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade granola. So stay tuned. yourself why do I want to make homemade granola the grocery stores have it of course they have it they have everything but it's expensive it's like four dollars for a tiny little bag I noticed this morning when I was making the hubby some breakfast that I ran all out of granola so I was like I'm gonna make some so and I thought I would show you guys how to do it it's so simple so let's get started so the first thing we're gonna put in the dish is three-fourths of a cup of peanut butter just like that and then two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then we need some type of sweetener. I'm going to use honey. We need a half a cup of a sweetener. I'm gonna pour that in as well. And scrape all that out. That's what it will look like right there. So I'm just gonna stir it up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a couple minutes and let it get liquidified. Okay, the next thing we need is another bowl. And we need two cups of um, oatmeal. And mine is gluten-free oatmeal. So there's one cup. And two cups. Just like that. And then we also need a cup of filler. So it's whatever you want to put inside your granola. So I am going to add some chia seeds. Actually, I'm just going to put that straight into the granola. Because that doesn't really count. This is healthy for you. So I have some pecans, or pecans, however you say it. So we're going to put some of those in there. And then I have some sliced almonds. And I have some walnuts. Put that in there. And I'm going to put the rest of that on top of it and then just pour it in. I'm going to go check on this stuff in the microwave and see how that's doing. That's all melty. See it all melted. So stir that up. We're going to pour this hot mixture inside our granola. Ooh, that's hot. Let me grab a dish towel. The last step is I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of vanilla. I'm just going to eyeball it. So that looks good right there. And now we're just going to give it a stir. There, it's all pretty much incorporated. It is grab a cookie sheet. right there have mine lined and we're just gonna pour this mixture on top of the cookie sheet and then we are going to spread it out you want to spread it very thin because you want it to cook in the oven and the thicker it is the harder it will to dry out and to cook and be crispy i'll put this in the oven for five minutes and i'll show you what to do next okay it's been cooking for five minutes so what i want to do is just get it moving around just like that break it up a little bit it smells so good
just like that and back in the oven it goes it is after another five minutes so it is thickening up so i'm just going to scrape it again i don't want it to burn so why i'm having to do this so much is because i use quick oats instead of using like whole grain oats or flat oats so this just takes to be a little bit longer to do but if you used regular oats instead of the quick oats you probably would have had this done already but i didn't have any in the house surprisingly so i'm just going to mix this up again and put it back in the oven so it has cooked for about 15 minutes and it's all nice and golden brown and crispy so now what i have to do is just let this sit for a while till i can touch it because it's so hot and then i will show you what it looks like in the end but she's pretty so now is i'm putting it in a mason jar to store it for later so i got two jars of granola and it looks so so good and there you go homemade granola so simple like i said before if you use like a rolled o and not a quick o the cooking times will be different so mine took me about 15 to 20 minutes with you did it um not with quick oats it would only take you half of the time just keep stirring it to make sure that you're not burning it well i hope you guys like the video i will see you guys in my next bye